This video is brought to you by Loom Solar and PCBWay. More about them later. For this project, you will need a breadboard, Arduino Uno board, DS3231 RDC module, SD card module with SD card, DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, push buttons, and few jumper wires. So first of all take your breadboard and start placing all the components one by one. So after placing all the components start connecting the wires according to the circuit diagram which you can found in the description of this video. So now connect your Arduino Uno board with your PC and let's move to the screen. So here first of all I have added all the libraries which are required for this project and rest of the code is self explanatory and to change the file name you have to change this data word in the whole code. It appears almost uh, 5 times. So select the correct board and collect correct port and then hit the upload button. So once the code is uploaded open the serial monitor and as you can see here we are getting the failed message. It is because I have connected the wrong wires so that you can get to know what will happen if you connect the wrong wires so to remove this error i have to connect the wires in the correct manner which you can check out in the circuit diagram So after connecting the wires in correct manner, hit the reset button and here the message will appear would you like to delete old file, I will click the red button, it will delete the old file. So now our data is being logged in the SD card. So this much data is sufficient for me to test out what's happening. So I will remove the SD card. Now I will insert the SD card to a SD card reader and place it in the USB port of my PC. So here is our data file on the SD card and as you can see here we have this uh, we are getting the whole data so for my project I'm using the development board which I have created a few months back and the they are the red color PCBs and they are sponsored by PCBWay thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring these beautiful red PCBs along with this I have also ordered this stencil as well because I'm using all the SMD components so make sure to check out their website link is in the description of this video so here I have already assembled one board, here the microcontroller is 80 mega 328p and I am using AMS1117 3.3 volt voltage regulator along with a boost converter IC. 
so I can easily connect the NRF24 L1 radio module and I can also swap it with the HC05 Bluetooth module as well so it's comparable to the Arduino Nano in size so for my convenience I have connected all the components with my development board but you can use any other development board as well so to power up whole system uh, we need 5 volt and the power source which I am using will provide 24 volt so we have to step it down for that I am using this buck converter and on its output side I have connected a USB pin to power my board so this crocodile clip will be connected to the power source and for my power source I am using India's best solar panel which is loom solar panel so this is 10 volt solar panel so let's quickly unbox and see what we have received in this package. So as you can see the whole frame is made of metal and it is very very strong. So along with this we have received this warranty card as well in case uh, something happened to your solar panel you can contact them. So make sure to check out their website link is provided in the description of this video. So now to connect the wires I have to open this black box. So here as you can see we have two uh, pins to connect the positive and negative wires. Different on front we have very strong glass. So here I have connected my whole system with this solar panel. If you need the article you can check out the insectable article in the description of this video. So here our data is being logged and it works like a charm so thanks for watching guys i hope you have learned something new as always if yes then don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and i will see you in my next one